Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week three assignment of the course cyber security and privacy. So guys, we have been continuously giving the solutions for the from the first week itself. So we want to do further videos till the last week. So in order to do that, we need your encouragement and support. So please do that, guys. So please like the video and please watch the video till the end so that you can be able to note any changes if we make any changes in between the video. So do watch full video guys and definitely share that with your friends and classmates as well so that they will also get benefited like you. So let's see the first question. Guys, these are my probable solutions. If there are any changes that come to my notice, definitely I will update that in the comment section guys. And you can please give your opinion also. If you feel anything other option is the solution, but I think almost all solutions are correct. First question guys, the process of defining and specifying the long term direction to be taken by an organization and the allocation and acquisition of resources needed to pursue this effort is known as what? So for first question, the probable answer is third option is strategic planning. Strategic planning next second question which of the following statements best describes the relationship between grc governance risk and compliance and cyber security so for second question once again, the probable solution is third option, guys. GRC integrates cyber security as one component within the broader framework of enterprise risk management. So mark third option once again as the probable solution for second question. Next, third one. Third question. A written document provided by management that inform employees and others in the workspace about proper behavior regarding the use of information and information assets are known as what? So for third question, the probable answer is second option guys, information security policy, information security policy. Next, fourth question. Which approach to cybersecurity management treats cybersecurity as a separate category distinct from other risks an organization may face and focuses solely on cybersecurity depending on the size and nature of the organization? For fourth question, the probable answer is first option is standard driven approach. Standard driven approach next fifth question benefits of implementing a grc in a in an organization include so responsible operations data driven decision making and improved cyber security so mark all the above as the correct option for fifth question Next, moving on to the sixth question, guys. So before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. For the course cyber security and privacy, we have collected the past year's assignment questions, guys. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected this. So here you are going to get a huge number of 115 plus MCQs in a Google Drive restricted PDF link. So for one person, it is 150 rupees, guys. If you take it as combined group of five members, you can get it for just 500 rupees only. So 115 plus MCQs for one person, 150 rupees for five persons, 500 rupees, guys, combinedly. So if you want to purchase, mail me to this email ID, bk179417 at the red gmail.com. So guys, mail me to this email ID bk179417 at the red gmail.com. I will give the same email ID in the description box as well. 
so already many students have taken our pack guys so take it now itself so that you can get more time to prepare at the end so now let's get back to the solutions what is the purpose of the COVID maturity model so for sixth question the probable answer is first option guys to assess an organization's maturity in IT governance processes. Next, seventh question. Cost course ERM framework emphasizes what? So it emphasizes risk identification and assessment. So mark second option as the probable solution for seventh question. Next, eighth one guys, eighth question. Which characteristic distinguishes the approaches of COVID, COSCO and COSCO ERM from specific standards like ISO or NIST? So for eighth question, the probable answer is third option guys. They operate at the enterprise level rather than focusing on specific standards. So mark third option as the probable solution for eighth question. Ninth question. Why might some countries be hesitant to adopt the ISO 27001 model? So for ninth question, the probable answer is once again option C, third option. There are concerns about the model's overall effectiveness compared to existing approaches. So mark third option as the probable solution for ninth question. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is tenth one. Which of the following is not considered a principle or practice for securing IT systems? So before getting to know this, I want to once again make you remember guys. So here we are going to provide you 115 plus MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person it is just 150 rupees. If you take it as five members pack, then combinedly you can get it for 500 only guys. For five persons, combinedly 500 rupees. So this is the mail ID bk179417 at gmail.com. I'll give the same email ID in the description box as well. So that's it guys. Now let's see the last solution. So for 10th and final question, the probable answer is third option. Maximize the system elements to be trusted. So my third option. So friends, these are the probable solutions for week three assignment of cyber security and privacy course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates guys. And don't forget to purchase this 115 plus MCQs PDF Google Drive restricted link PDF pack. So that's it guys for this video. So keep supporting us like this. Like this. Definitely like the video. Please share this with your friends as well. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.